Hi, this is Renee with Fraley Farm Mini Homestead. I'm back at you today with another cooking video. Today's menu is baked rabbit. I'm going to bake this bad boy and I'm going to smother it with cream of mushroom soup. Oh my goodness, y'all. When you eat this recipe, you're going to be... Oh man, y'all going to be licking fingers. You hear? Oh yes. So first thing I'm going to do is I have already sectioned out my rabbit and I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I'm going to season the meat with some seasoning salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of margarine, and I'm going to put a little bit of water on this, bake this in the oven covered for 35 minutes. Then I will take it back out and then we'll add the gravy. All right, let's go ahead and season folks. So I've got my pepper. I don't know how much to tell you to put on this. I just eyeball it. Y'all know I like my seasonings and I like to see my seasonings, okay? The garlic powder, I'm just going to, excuse me, the seasoning uh, salt, I'm just going to put a little bit on here. Not too terribly much because we're going to add more seasoning once we put the cream of mushroom soup on here. Onion powder, just a little bit not an extreme amount, and I'm only going to season one side. So this is my garlic powder. Let me show you something, guys. You see the top of this, how it's got the dots, and then I also drew a spoon, and Lord knows I can't draw you. I have to excuse me. But anyway, where the dots are, that's the side that's got this, because the worst thing is you are trying to figure out how to pour out something, or if you want to spoon the other side or whatever, and you done opened the wrong side. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some margarine on here. And I'm going to put just a little bit of water in here. And then we'll go ahead and bake this. We'll be back. So I have already added my margarine. And I'm going to pour just a little bit of water in here. Not much. Just enough to sort of get the bottom of my pan wet. And that will help to steam this just a little bit like I say not much water maybe I guess fourth of a cup half a cup to the max and then I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and bake this in the oven for 35 minutes on 350 degrees all right we'll be back soon y'all I have removed the rabbit from the oven and you can see there is quite a bit of water in this pan I am going to dip off mostly all of this water and then I'm going to put on the peppers and onions and also the cream of mushroom soup. I'm also going to add more seasoning to the top of this so everything has a nice seasoned flavor. We're back. So mostly all of this liquid has been removed. I just left a little bit in the pan because I'd like a little bit of some of this moisture to mix with the Campbell's soup or the cream of mushroom soup because I don't want it to be so dry. I want it to be, you know, not wet and soppy, but just a little bit moist. So I'm going to grab some of these peppers and onions. Grab peppers first and just kind of spread them around. And you can put as many on here as you want. Some people don't like peppers. Some people don't like onions. Well, you fix it however you want to. I like both. Usually I use green peppers, but uh, this is what we have a segment of what we call work with what you got. Ha! I don't have no green peppers. So you know what? We fit to go with what we do have. I got some red bell peppers, so it is what it is. So again, you do what's best for you and what you want. I'm going to add just a little tiny bit of seasoning, tiny bit. Because I want these peppers seasoned. If not, they taste kind of bland if you don't season your peppers. Just a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the cream of mushroom soup. Well, this stuff is thick and chunky when it comes out, y'all. So that's why I said I want to have a little bit of uh, some liquid in the pan. And then usually what I do is whatever I have left over in the can... I'm going to add a little bit of moisture in there, a little bit of water, or some of this broth that's left over from the, the rabbit. Just going 
kind of spread this around a little bit. You can actually mix this in a bowl before putting this on here and then go ahead and add a little bit of the liquid. You just do it however you want to. This is just my, my recipe for today. Oh, I made a mess, y'all. Yeah. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of water to these uh, cans and pour that on top. Actually, instead of adding water, I just went and got me a third can. So those are these little bitty cans, and these things are not, that was not enough for this size of recipe that I'm doing. I still may add a little bit of water to these cans and still use that too, but I doubt it. We got enough. This should be good right here. All right. And then I'm going to put some more pepper and some seasoning on top and a little bit of margarine. A little bit of garlic powder. I'm not going to worry about the onion powder because it's already got the onions in it. I'm going to add a little bit of margarine and I'll show you the finished product. I have my margarine on here and now I'm going to cover this and bake it for 45 minutes. Be back with the finished product, folks. Finally, the food is done. Oh my gosh, y'all, this smells wonderful. And it looks delicious. Oh my goodness, look at that nice piece of rabbit there. Mm, mm, mm. Got those onions and peppers. Oh, wow. And the seasoning, everything just looks wonderful. I'll be back to show you guys the final plating. All right, you guys, here's the final product. Oh, yeah. Y'all know we about to do something, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. This dish is so good. It is fabulous. I hope you guys will make this recipe. And hey, leave me some comments if you do. I'd like to know what you think of it. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all of your support for my channel, you guys. And hey, cooking is one of my love languages. So if there's any certain dish that you would like me to fix, let me know. I would definitely try it for you. And you guys have a good day. Bye.